Welcome, I'm Trip. Today, I'm at POI in Indianapolis. If you've never heard of POI, it's kind of like SEMA, but with less show cars and more race cars. So it's a big trade show with a lot of vendors, motorsports vendors. So let's go check out some cars. So the game plan for this video, of course, walk around, check things out, chat with people. But I'm gonna give you my top 10 of favorite cars at POI of 23. It probably won't be like an order of best to least, but yeah, just 10 cars I like the most. You know, my personal taste, things I like. Let's start this list off swinging with Adam LZ's four wheel A90 Super at the KN booth. Sporting a Street Fighter wide body with carbon fiber roof and doors. The four wheel is NA running ITBs connected to a sequential trans. Uh, Wise 5 suspension, cage for wiring. Just a lot of work went into this thing. And next is Greg Luston's diesel powered radical SR hill climb car at the Borg Warner booth. This car currently holds the Pikes Peak diesel record, so you know it's fast. It has a 2 liter 3 turbo Volkswagen TDI engine mounted to a Porsche PDX Trans. And I know he has even bigger, better plans for next year's hill climb, so I'm excited to see that. This is Kimbo, a 2000 horsepower GTR at the Tycon booth. I don't know the full specs on this guy, but I do know that there's a 6.6 .6 at a 217 miles per hour and a quarter mile. That's just nuts. And it has been on Hoonigan's This Plus Is That a few times. Next on the list is a super clean Ford RS 4Ti at the Toyo Tire booth. It is pretty much a modern interpretation of the Cosworth RS500, but started life as a Ford Mercure XR4Ti, but now it's been wide bodies, sporting a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, and it's super clean, modernized, and I'm definitely digging the interior. Next is Scott Bosal's 91 Toyota pickup land speed truck at the Vibrant booth. It was built for the Bonneville Salt Flats, pushing 1300 horsepower from a Toyota 2JZ GTE, rocking a huge single turbo with a 6 speed sequential targeted to go 240 miles per hour. But Scott is no stranger to going fast. Let's take a break from looking at cars to go drive some stuff. Okay, right now I'm in the Lucas Stadium. I get to drive the little uh, go-karts, so it'd be pretty fun. It's pretty damn slick out though. I haven't been out there yet. And I even haven't got a chance to even watch anybody out though. But this karts are it pushed me pretty fast, pretty quick. Got the guy going out right now. Fifty boy. So yeah, the track definitely looks super slick. You definitely get sliding around. Uh, this is for today is for media slash influencers, and then they have like a, a leaderboard up and everybody's trying to get the fastest time so i have it actually driven a car in years but i've done a ton of track time so hopefully that translates at least a little bit okay five laps wish me luck
Okay, I just got done with my lap. And yeah, definitely slick. I'm just, I'm literally just drifting around, sliding around the whole time. So definitely to get some used to. Luckily I didn't spin out at all. Uh, I'm not sure how the footage is gonna turn out. I guess you're gonna find out now. I was worried that it's gonna be too damn shaky. So in the standings, I'm um, 10th place out of like 20 something. I'm not sure how many. So at least I'm mid-pack, more than mid-pack. Uh, not bad for not driving go-karts in probably seven or eight years probably. It's been, it's been a long time. And I've never driven on this stuff. It's like slick. I'm like drifting the whole time. So let's get back to the course. Next on the list is Jackie Ding's BMW M2 Time Attack car at the Titan 7 booth. Sorry, the Super didn't make the cut this time. I might be a little biased on this one because I'm fans of Jackie and I've been in this car. But this car is pretty nuts for how basic it is. Currently rocking the various L package, full SPL suspension, memo safety equipment, uh, Titan 7 wheels, but the engine is still untouched for now. But big plans are still coming for this thing. Next is yet another BMW, a Z4 GT3 race car converted to a street car at the Taycan booth. This thing has a supercharged Mercedes V12, huge aero, air jacks, center lock wheels, but it started life as a race car in Europe, but now it's more of a show car. Most cars go the opposite direction, but it's still pretty sick. Larry Chen did a full video on this car and also that Ford RS if you want to see a full breakdown. This is a Hellcat powered 70s Dodge Challenger at the Patterson's booth. I picked this car because these cars are normally built to go fast in a straight line and not to handle. This car can do both. And I'm a sucker for big aero splitters and wings, diffusers. Plus there's just something awesome about an old school Challenger. Coming up next is the ETS all-wheel drive Acura Integra drag car at the drive shaft shop booth. This Integra has been around for a minute, setting records for a long time. Still rocking the old school B series with all-wheel drive. And I also like the fact that it still looks like an Integra and that can do 200 miles per hour plus. I don't know about you, but I don't think I'd want to go 200 miles per hour in an old 90s Honda. And of course, we saved the best for last. A Honda Fit. Okay, not really. But I did kind of think it was kind of cool that this was here, and I should show it some love. My number one build by far at PRI this year is this 1973 Pontiac Firebolt Trans Am, known as the Hammerhead at the Vibrant Booth. Where do I even begin with this thing? This thing is full of IndyCar DNA with a tubular frame, a mid-mounted twin turbo LSR with a rear-mounted se sequential, huge wide body, huge aero, canalizer suspension, center lock wheels, a big ram air roof scoop. The engine is pushed so far back and also the floor of it is completely flat that weighs less than 3,000 pounds. 50-50 weight distribution. Every inch of this thing is just a walk of art and this looks awesome. A lot of work went into this thing. And they also have big plans to actually track this thing. So I hope to see it out there. Okay, those were just my top 10, but here are some other pretty awesome cars that were also at PRI.
Okay, that is it for POI. I'm gonna have to end the video before the floodgates come in. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I got to see a lot of cool cars, hang out with a lot of cool people. But let me know in the comments which car on the list is your favorite. I know I didn't have a lot of like drag cars or off-road or um, oval track stuff, cause not really my thing. Even though it's not my thing, I, there's still a lot of cool ones here. I really enjoy the look at them. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the road and head home and hope to see you in the next one. Peace.